G'day my friends, Marty Way from Marty's Garden. I'm back again and I'm excited, yes, because I'm making more videos and I'm bringing out stuff to teach you guys and show you what you can grow at home in small spaces. Now, this is called Red Vein Sorrel. Now, it's in its baby leaf stage, so it's a bit above its microgreen stage, but, you know, you can hang there and just once they start getting the third or fourth leaf, mm, so good. It's got like this sour flavour. Um, oh, just beautiful. And look at it. You know what it is? It's the one that you see all the time, like on the TV shows, in the restaurants and things. When they take that beautiful photo, you see the little red and green leaf. Well, that's it down there. And it prefers to grow in the cooler times, but it will grow pretty much all year round. I've got it planted out in my garden as well. Now, the restaurants really like this stuff. So if you want to grow a little bit at home, it's really quite easy. You can sell it in little tubs and they'll just use it to put onto their plants. So good little hobby for someone, little sidekick business. And you can do them with a few different plants. But how I feed it is, right, I've got it growing in potting mix. And then what I do is I water it with one of these compost pots. And the water goes in down below. So I water down below. I don't water from the top and the water goes in down there into the second tray. Now you don't have to use a big tray like this, you can use any tray really. And as long as you water down below and don't get the leaf wet because when they're really compacted growing together like that you can get problems. But this plant doesn't seem to get too many problems at all. You can just pull a chunk out, put it in a pot in the garden in a shady zone and in the winter time put it into a more of a, you know, like a morning sun, uh, not too much hot afternoon sun or any cool, too cool of a breeze. Now, like I said, I water it with this. So these go into the watering can and I let it steep and then pour the water down into there and that feeds the plant and the roots go down into it, search for the food and stuff like that. Now, another thing I want to show you that I'm doing, which is pretty interesting, this is a little trial here. I don't know if you can see inside, but you can see some plants starting to grow in there. Well, that's rocket. And what I've done is, this is one of my compost pods. And if you put the seed straight in top and just sprinkle it around and just sit it inside a little bucket like this, or a little container, it sumps up through and then you can just harvest from it as it goes. And look, it's just a bag, so it just rots away and doesn't end up in any landfill or anyone's bins and things like that. You can throw it in your worm farm when you're finished, into your compost, bury it into the garden. It's not gonna hurt anything, actually the plants quite like this fibrous stuff and so do the worms, but anyway, you can plant uh, tomatoes in it and all different types of plants and just plant the thing straight in the ground. The roots will grow out through and it's a great way to get plants started. Now, I'm just growing this rocket just as a bit of a test to see I've got a few other plants growing in them as well, but this is all going to spill outside and I'm just going to eat them like microgreens and baby leaf for now. So I'll keep you updated on these as well. Now, remember, I'm Marty Ware from Marty's Garden. If you're liking these videos, please subscribe. I'd love to see you, I'd love to hear from you. Leave any comments and questions down below. The red vein sorrel is a great plant. The compost pods can be found on my website, including a bunch of minerals, which I'm working on at the moment, different blends for different types of plants, for worm farms and all types of things. And it looks veganic. It doesn't have any animal products in it whatsoever. So I'm sure there's plenty of you looking for that type of product out there that's really gonna help your garden grow and improve soil life. All right, I'm Marty Ware from Marty's Garden. See you at the next video. Follow along and don't forget to subscribe. Bye for now.